Greetings and welcome to Caribbean Vanguard. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to take some time to talk about international construction, international businesses that are being conducted in the Caribbean. Recently I created a video on a man out of the UK who take issue with Nigerian immigrants coming to UK. He feel that they are intimidated and he wanted the people of UK to start doing something about it before it's too late. On the flip side of that, you have organizations out of the UK, out of Europe, out of the US and different places like that, that are doing major construction in the Caribbean and other parts of the world. Nothing compared to immigrants going to those countries. We have to keep that in mind, that even when we visit those countries, we do not have or possess the same type of currency that they do. You do not have the type of influence on their government as they do on our government. It is a total different situation. We cannot neglect history, how we end up here. This development is the Rodney Bay City Center Development, the Republic Bank Limited, alongside developers and St. Lucia's Prime Minister, Honorable Philip J. Pierre has officially turned the sod on the Rodney Bay City Center development at Pope's Hill Gross Inslet. I always tell people in the Caribbean, the common people, to look beyond national boundaries. I believe that politicians and outside influences has done a significant job. They have done a wonderful job at getting Caribbean people to be tunnel visioned to which we are only concerned about nationality. This is my flag. I am proud. We have the best food. We have the best accent. We have the best culture. In the meantime, you have people in your country who are doing businesses across the Caribbean. They are connected globally. But somehow, many of us are divided and only come together when it's time to party. The 14-acre project that is financed by Republic Bank and keep in mind that there is a somewhat monopoly within the Caribbean. And it has been there for a while and it is still there. The same banks, the same people, same organizations are running a lot of what you see happening in the Caribbean. The Republic Bank that has been around for many, many years is a subsidiary of UK. It has its origin or roots in the UK. And the development that is happening in St. Lucia is being done by the Blue Investment Limited, which is a private corporation incorporated in the UK. It is a subsidiary of Dorman Properties Limited, and that company is owned by Dominique Hadid. This guy is of Syrian origin. His family settled in Trinidad and Tobago, where his parents, his fathers and uncles started a business in textile and garment trade. The director of Blue Investment Limited, Dominique Hadid, who I just spoke about, and the general manager of Dahmer Properties Limited, Sherwin Williams, both thanked the Republic Bank for their partnership and went on to explain that the project is expected to drive economic growth and community development by creating jobs fostering entrepreneurship and offering dynamic space where people can shop, work, and socialize. Common people of the Caribbean, common people of St. Lucia, do you know what this means? I hope you're thinking and asking questions about how this is going to impact you versus how it's going to impact the outsiders. Because outsiders are doing this project. And by me looking at it, this project is framed to attract outsiders. And so even though money might be moving around in your country, you can be pulled away or pushed to the side of your country very easily. And that is how you get replaced. So we should not wait until trouble is at the door to start taking actions. I believe that signs and wonders are there for a reason. We have been given senses and we should use them. Both good and bad outcomes are usually preceded 
by signs, by works, by deeds. Right? So this that is happening here in St. Lucia has happened already in the Caribbean, has been happening. I created a video and here's the video right here. Please take a look at it. Where these outside organization gets in the air of your politician and get them to take photo shots with shovels in their hand, turn in the sud as a sign of the project kickoff. And they did this all over the Caribbean. So that is why I said we cannot wait for the government to fix anything for us. You have the common people at one level and above them you have the government and above them you have these organizations. And as long as you are beneath the government, you will always get the messy end of the stick. If you realize in their countries, private organizations and corporations are running the government. It is not the other way around. It's only like that for the common people. So all of us cannot be common. And because we have a different path, we have to approach this differently. The common people have to approach it differently. We cannot do it the way they did it. The multi-million dollar project is slated to be rolled out in two phases. The first phase will be the home of Rebec or the Regional Bureau for Europe and Commonwealth of Independent States. Along with Rebec, there will be a new Radney Bay branch for the bank's St. Lucian customers. It is expected that the headquarters will better enable the bank to serve the domestic clients as well as a wider Eastern Caribbean community. So you see, they are thinking wide, they are thinking large, they are thinking take over. So my thing is, when will us common people reach across national boundaries and start these conversations? We do have certain advantages, but we have to talk about them and put them into motion if we simply sit back and allow people to distract us with parties and all these events and so forth then by the time we take action it will be too late managing director for Rebec Tracy Bartholomew whose roots is also out of the UK said that in the coming weeks works will begin at the site to create a modern state of the art commercial and retail facility. This facility on the part of the bank represents a strong vote of confidence in St. Lucia. I really hope that the common people thread the needle here. When they say St. Lucia is not talking about you, you are not included in this idea of St. Lucia. We have to remember we cannot run the Caribbean the way people run those developed nations are nations that were stolen. We did not choose to come here. Our ancestors died on this land. So we should not put it up for sale from people who have a monetary advantage. People who, because of history, has put them in a position of power as it relates to money. So how is it we're going to allow politicians to put our land on the market and say that the highest bidder can purchase it? Automatically, the common people cannot compete. So these politicians that we are putting in the office, even though they look like us, even though they are of us, they are disconnected from who they really are. They are disconnected from the ancestors. And in addition to that, the education that they receive and the amount of money that are pushed in the face and the pressure they get from outside organized group and government. And with all that pressure, they look at the common people and they see that the common people is all over the place. So who you think they're going to listen to? If they have to choose between the common people and these outside entities that are bringing all the money into the Caribbean, who will they listen to? Not the common people. We cannot make it an option where people listen to us and respect us. We have to make it where they have no choice but to respect us. And that can only be done through unity. And while we have the unity, we develop the money, we develop the strategies, we develop the systems. Then we can create something that is solid all around. But until then, unity is a good place to start. And this is not about organizing 
all of us. It's about the like-minded individuals, the visionaries, the vanguards. Tracy Bartholomew, the managing director of Rubik, said that the project is a test to the bank's unwavering commitment to the development of the economy of St. Lucia and our customers here on the island. It is also a demonstration of our commitment to deepening our relationship with the other Eastern Caribbean islands. All right. They are not thinking local. They are not allowing national boundary or nationalism mentality to restrict them to one area. And that is why they have left Europe and come here in the first place. They don't have to say it out loud. They naturally pull together. The bank's corporate social responsibility platform, she said that the Power to Make a Difference program, which is the PMAD, is another shining example of Republic Bank's deep and abiding commitment to the communities that they serve. Over the past few years, the bank has invested close to $1 million EC dollars in grant and partnership with local organizations like St. Lucia National Conservation Fund and the St. Lucia National Cricket Association. The bank has also remained to supporting the growth and success of small and medium-sized enterprises through its entrepreneur business building program that to date has helped 200 female entrepreneurs across the region grow technology-enabled and future-proof businesses. So these 200 females, do you think they want to hear anything about rebuilding our community, rebuilding our identity, when they have been purchased by an outside entity? No. So man of the Caribbean, we really have to step up and realize what is going on here. Females of the Caribbean, you have to realize when you are being used as a window for others to get in and take over as well. Now, if you understand who you are and know that you have a responsibility, then sure, you can take those grants and use them to your advantage so that they can serve us. But a lot of these things that are happening is to make the country more appeasing to visitors and not so much to common people. You will be able to get some of the crumbs from off the table, but to get the big bites out of what will be happening will be these outside entities. It will be a different group of people unless we really get our act together. So they are coming in hard. They are coming in hard and it's a clever strategy to distract, divide while you continue to build, buy land, purchase, develop, right? Because as you're going to see, or as you have been seeing in some of these images, these are not structured in a way to appease the common people. It is structured in a way to attract outside people, bring them in, have them feel comfortable, give them a place to relax so that they can do their window shopping and see what piece of the land they want to purchase for themselves and their future generations. To continue with what the manager director of Rebic, Tracy Bartholomew said, she said that the bank strongly believed that collaboration and partnership build strong communities and that strong communities build strong nations nations in which both individuals and businesses can grow and survive so here it they understand the importance of partnership they know that they cannot do it without partnership even though they have so much money so with us in the state that we are in today in the caribbean with the identity crisis and not having the type of money that they have what make us believe that we can do it by ourselves? Think about it. When you go to your job, right? You don't be working by yourself. That is an entity. That is a job. And we are fulfilling someone else's vision. And that person or those individuals have created a team of people working together to develop their plan. So we need to have a plan outside of their development. And because they are so far ahead financially because of the amount of money they have made historically, we have to approach this differently. And it is doable. We can't allow people to always take our youths and put them in a room and whatever ideas our youths come up with, they happen to have access to it first. 
we have to be the one who cultivate those minds and we should have ideas that other people don't know about because we don't know the deep dark desires and secrets of a man's heart we don't be sitting in all their meetings before they come to the caribbean so how is it that we are so trustworthy of them do you think they will make themselves as vulnerable as we make ourselves to them can you imagine a group of africans or people of african descent caribbean people going to uk and buying up acres of land in all the different countries in the uk and the americas and developing hotels and all these different types of projects that are designed in a way to attract more people from africa or to attract more people from the caribbean it is not designed for the local people the local people are able to get some crumbs off of it can you imagine them sitting by and allowing such a thing to happen and don't do something about it i just created a video of a man in uk getting upset because nigerian immigrants are coming to the uk you see how some of these people act in the u.s because people come across the border these people are not even coming over with a lot of money they are not buying up acres of land and developing anything while they are traveling around the world and getting the nicest parts of the countries they are getting pieces of land that the local people cannot afford to live on and we are quiet something don't look right here it don't smell right it don't look right and it don't be right and if we're going to keep ignoring the signs i really don't want to see youtube videos and other things of people crying and marching on the road saying that they put up a private sign saying we can't use it because they've been doing it for a long time and they're still doing it and we're not doing anything about it because we leave it in the hands of the politicians for them to do they are not going to do nothing about it the second phase of the Rodney Bay City Center development will be the construction of the commercial center to include a waterfront boardwalk, a gym, office space, restaurants and bars, retail stores and condominiums. Again, this is structured not for the local people. It is for foreigners. Karen Yip Chuck, Vice President of Republic Financial Holdings Limited, and chairman of the board of directors of Rubik stated that we are happy that our bank was able to finance a project and help this vision come to reality. Republic Bank continues to be heavily invested in the business community and will remain ready to engage with all stakeholders who share our vision as we continue to make a positive difference in the lives and communities in which we serve. Following the official sad turning which kicked off the project, the Prime Minister of St. Lucia, Honorable Philip J. Pierre, spoke to the level of confidence that investors have in St. Lucia, stating, I am extremely pleased that this venture is a private sector venture which shows the level of trust and confidence in the economy of St. Lucia. He further expressed the pleasure of the island's government and people in the hosting of the Rebec headquarters in St. Lucia. Common people, outsiders are not going to respect you if they are able to play you like this. This man is the head of your government. You chose him to be your prime minister. And they are able to get him to come out there and speak so highly of this. I'm sure he's a good man, nothing against the Prime Minister. But there is a ignorance when it comes to knowing who you are and knowing that you have a duty and your duty is for your people. But you're caught up on the idea of St. Lucia. You're ignoring the current state of the island and the people and you are overlooking history as to how we got here and how what is happening now is going to impact the future of not only St. Lucia, but the common people of St. Lucia, the real people of St. Lucia. Because you see now, they're making it where everyone can be a St. Lucian. Everyone can be of the country if they're born there. And we don't realize how that is going to make things more complicated for the local people. Because as long as the GDP is doing good in the country, then they're going to say St. Lucia is doing great. Who cares about the ghetto? Who cares about the mental trauma 
that people are still dealing with. Who cares about the identity crisis that the youths have in the Caribbean when the country is doing well? Construction of phase one of the development will begin in the coming weeks and is scheduled for completion on December 2025. Republic Bank looks forward to this new chapter not only for the bank but the positive impacts of this investment on the local community, the country, and beyond. We have to ensure that we get people to break down every single word, every phrase that come out of their mouth. What do they mean by the local community? And be specific. Who is the local community? How exactly is it going to impact the local communities? Are you talking about taxi drivers being able to get more jobs? Are you talking about local people being able to get employed at these places? Is that what you're talking about? You see, they, they are fine with us being bottom feeders. And we have to ensure that they know that we are not comfortable there. Because many of these people are Christians and they believe that we were all created equal. So how is it you believe that we are all created equal? But when you look across the board, you realize that a certain group of people with a certain history are living differently. The scale is so off balance. How you don't realize that and not try to get to the root of it and I try to address it. All right. So this is a sign to the local people that your government is not going to do anything about it. We have to do something about it. And the vanguards in the community who are seeing these things happen... We have been blessed to see these things because many people cannot see it. And even if they see it, they feel like it is too much work. They feel like they cannot do anything about it. So us Vanguard, we need to make these moves. We need to challenge these politicians because how is it? We have these outside organizations. They're able to develop such detailed plan about their designs, their intentions to develop the nation. But we are not challenging them to come up with the same design with as much detail for how they're going to improve the livelihood of the common people. What is your plan for ensuring that the Caribbean people get out of the slum that they're in and that they can manage themselves? So that they can rule all these places, so that they can own all these hotels. How about you come up with a design for that as well? But our politicians don't think like that because they still have that slave mentality. Many of them, they're with this kumbaya thing saying they don't see color, they don't see history, they don't see nothing like that because they were able to get some education and climb out. But they are living a lie. They are not thinking that they have some responsibility towards their people. But what they don't understand is that the people that they're sitting across the table from, they have been doing this for generations and they are going to continue doing it. They are looking out for their own people. And if you think that I'm lying, just look at history. Look around and look what has been done in the past. Look at who is the lender and look at who is the borrower. Look at the wealth gap. We need to stop lying to ourselves. If it is raining outside, we cannot pretend that we don't see the rain and hear the rain. You know, and that is why people are going to disrespect us. It's like this. Somebody stepping on your toe, they know that they are stepping on your toe. And they see you acting as if you don't feel it. They see you acting as if you don't see them. And they realize that you are scared to speak up. But you want your people to see you as a hero. You want them to see you as a warrior for them. In the meantime, you are comfortable living in the shadow of the Europeans. They are comfortable living in another man's shell. That is why the black man is not respected. Because we are fine with other people coming into our community and create jobs and opportunity for our people. We are fine with being beggars as a people. And we feel like it is okay because it is not us individually doing it. You got a job, you got an education, and so forth and so forth. And so you don't see yourself as a beggar. But as a nation, as a people, people see us as needy. They see us as incompetent, incapable of taking care of our own affairs. What is a plan for fixing that? The government want designs, they want plan, you want details. But how about we challenge the government? 
either we're going to challenge them to do more about it or us vanguards going to step up and do it start doing it little by little until they have no choice but to defend us and procure the land for the future generations of the caribbean we can't allow every and anyone to morph themselves into who we are when we're still trying to figure this thing out right we have this chaos that are happening in our community but then we have people coming in who are organized who don't have the identity crisis that we have and they are making moves on the land that belongs to us and we are allowing the politicians to get away with it because we are simply able to get some bottom feeder type jobs and we are cool with that all right now to list off a few more international projects that they have in the caribbean that their monopoly has going on in the caribbean and keep in mind these projects, every single one of them, UK has their hand in it. Outside agencies are the ones leading it. It is their mission. It is their plan for the Caribbean. The first is Port Louis and Marina Building Design in Grenada. Here are some images of it. Next, you have Taco Ferry Port Trinidad. Big plans. They have big plans. I, I hope that the common people are paying attention. Next, you have Sam Lord's Castle, Barbados. Do you think these projects are designed to attract local people or to build up the local people? No, this is like creating a military base for other people to come in and start making themselves comfortable, blending in with the local people and start expanding themselves. And of course, you have Rodney Bay City Center, which is the project I just talked about. Caribbean people, we have to wake up. We have to wake up. 